Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Le The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Uh, in the last part we <laughs> continued to make our way through um, the Tower of the Gods. And in this part we're going to be finishing off the Tower of the Gods, I think. Uh, now, <laughs> in case you're wondering here why I had such a hard time with this fucking enemy, it's because I'm using the um, Wii U Pro Controller. And the biggest issue with the Wii U Pro Controller is the fact that the right analog stick is above the the is above the face buttons, and so that means with the bow it makes it really difficult to aim, because what you have to do is you have to kind of hold down uh, the X button, which is the left face button. You have to kind of hold that down with your thumb while also trying to move the right analog stick <laughs> which is above it fucking hell hit it Tom for God's sake it's just fucking hell hit it down a bit there we go fucking hell uh, and anyway it just makes it really awkward to maneuver and it makes it aiming using the pro controller really bad uh, but I wanted to use the pro controller because I didn't want to use the get fucking gamepad because it's so goddamn massive. Um, and so that was the issue I was having there a little bit. Um, oh Jesus, that was close. Yeah, I think I'm trying to get these two parts. I don't know what I'm expecting. I think it's just um, arrows, no bombs, which I'm full on anyway, fuck. There we go. So now we've got to wait for this thing. This little platform here to come down. Oh, barely. Uh, I'm trying to remember where we have to go. Oh, yes. Well, you don't have to go this way. I think this is just rupees, from what I remember. Or is it a key? It's a small key. Okay, you need to get that. <laughs> it's been a while. I can't remember what I did. Okay, so now we have to go... Yeah, this room's a bit of a pain. Because uh, now we have to aim. Oh god, further away. Yeah, you see, I'm trying to aim first and then use the... Ugh, fucking dickhead. <laughs> yeah, now I'm going to wait. Come on. Hit it. Oh, first time. I'm pro. Uh, and I think, is there something else over here? I'm trying to remember. It looks like there should be something over here. Huh. Oh, yeah. And now I remember, and they're like, shit, of course not. That was a, <laughs> that was a sword slash in a frustration at working out. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm going to have to get back on this thing. Nah, a bit too high. A bit lower. Tom, lower. I don't think it's going to hit. Nope, too high. Because it's awkward to do this with the Pro Controller. I should have really used the uh, gamepad. Because at least that has gyro. Um, and the gyro actually works fairly well. Yeah, here we go. Chest. I can't remember what's in the chest, if I'm honest. <laughs> But anyway, last bit. I'm so close. I'm nearly done. <sighs> Fuck you. That's 20 to 30 seconds, which I'm never going to get back. Oh, joy pendant. Oh, joy. Yeah, so now we're done in this area. Uh, so now we have to go back, I think. Yeah, I think. Do I just... Yeah, let's kill myself. And out we go. <laughs> Right, so we're done here. We now need to go across. Uh, and we've gone through those two areas. We've got the keys that we need. Um, so now we need to head off to the next area. And the fire. I think this is the final. Yeah, it's the final area of this section. So yeah, you just need. Fuck! <laughs> Fell in the water. My aim is shit. 
Luckily they uh, respawn immediately. Yeah, but here I can just jump across. And jump across. There we go. And as you can see... That's why it's the, uh, the best, a good idea to go through those other downstairs rooms first. Um, because you need the key, the small key. Yeah, that was me basically taking forever to work out what you're meant to do. And what you're meant to do is use the, use the Deku Leaf, fly over the barrier, and then call this asshole down. Uh, and then you're going to want to use the Mind Control Melody. Tom, there you go. Oh god, I can't see myself. Now I'm all green. And of course the guy doesn't get hurt. And we can just place him on here. Yeah. And out. And we're done. Yeah, this bit's nice and easy. Uh, getting out here is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass, from what I remember. Yeah, because now we get whiz robes. Which are a pain in the dick in this game. Especially, oh god, dodge. Especially when you're trying to use a bow and arrow. Because I'm trying to lock on. There you go. Lock on again. Died in two arrows, so that's not too bad. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do before you, you, you just leave the thing over there. And you want to grab all four of these and place them on... Uh, one of these um, pulleys uh, because that will give you enough uh, ballast so that you can carry the thing across so ow my face so, <laughs> so that it enables you to carry uh, the thing across and the um, and the uh, thing won't go up so yeah, jump across, and now we're going to want to grab you, ow my face, <laughs> come on, come on Tom we're nearly done, boom, and boom, and that's it, that's the final area done, go my friend, be with your other friends, <laughs> go disappear. But we're not quite done with this area yet, because I've got one last thing I need to do after this, but I'm good. we'll see in a minute. So yeah, now he has the... All three of them have their triangle beams, which opens up the way to the final area of the dungeon. But first, so yeah, we want to go here because you couldn't uh, activate this platform until you got the bow and arrow and you don't have the bow and arrow the first time you come through here so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting this last treasure chest just because you know if I know there's a treasure chest here I might as well get it oh, or these pricks nobody likes you bombos everybody thinks you're a dick damn it Why open your mouth? Seriously, it's rude. <laughs> Say a hit. And boom, we're done. But first, got some rupees and other items to collect. That's one thing I do like about Wind Waker is that the uh, they give you uh, items. Enemies drop a lot of fucking items. For the most part, so that's really useful. We got a joy pendant, another one. <sighs> this is so worth doing. All right, <laughs> let's move on. And I think I just cut, yeah, cut again, because I kind of it took me a while to work to work out how to get out, because <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. All right. Nope. Rupee. Can always do with a rupee. I think here I'm just like, okay, let's see if I can 
get any because I want to be at full health. No. <sighs> bombs? I don't need bombs. I think at this point... No, I've got one more to do. There we go. Right, now we can just go. Onwards to the final area of the dungeon. This dungeon is actually fairly straight... is uh, very straightforward. Very simple and straightforward, which I kind of like about it. Makes it easier to go through. Okay, so what we want now is we want to grab one of these. And if you walk here fairly close, then those bastards over there won't get anywhere near you. Oh, it's landed on perfectly. Yeah, if you stay on this middle bit here, if you walk across that middle bit, those um, sentries will not touch you. But also, if you wanted to destroy them, which you can actually destroy them now because you've got the um, bows, you've got a bow and arrow. Got a bow and arrow. Yeah, I was like, uh, is that going to come off now? Here we go. And we've got our big key. So now we can take on the boss. I do like the design of the big key in this game. Oh no. So these things are a bit of a pain in the ass. Basically, you have to get behind them and hit their gem a couple of times. It's actually easier, easy once you've hit them once because then they kind of... Because as you can see, they kind of stop what they're doing once you've hit them once. And then you can just easily hit them a second time and they're dead. All that's left now is to take on the boss. So let's go do that. I've just realised how little f how few hearts I have. That's one of the things, if you don't go out of you, it's like Majora's Mask in that way, in that regard. If you don't... God, that's a weird noise. If you don't go out of your way to find heart pieces throughout the world, then it ain't gonna happen. Yeah, here's me getting confused there we go dead those things are kind of annoying yep as you can see shoot an arrow at them and it just pops them there we go the blue ones are pretty easy the pink ones are less so because they follow you so you have to be kind of basically have to be very quick and I think what I end up doing here is I think I end up yeah I'm just gonna ignore you these ones are easy though because they only shoot in one direction and boom and they drop me some hearts these things are useful for yeah I think I don't know what I was thinking there god those noises they make so weird Yeah, here I'm trying to get a bottle. Yeah, I do something dumb here. Because I've got only got one bottle, which means I have to drink the... Uh, but at least until you get hit, you get double... You cause double damage, which is kind of useful. And now we've got a fairy, which means we cannot die. Oh, I'm flashing red. Yeah, which means I can't use that anymore. Because I immediately got hit. Uh, those things are worth um, using your uh, grappling hook on. There you go. <laughs> those things are worth using your grappling hook on. Why didn't I just pick up that arrow? Tom, you arsehole. Um, but they're worth you those things are worth using the grappling hook on for a, a, a side quest you can do later on because you need feathers from those birds. And grappling hook automatically gets you a feather from them. You have done well to find your way to this place. Oh, chosen one. Accept this final challenge. And of course, <laughs> it's Nintendo's favourite boss concept. Two hands and a face. Can you tell how you have to defeat this thing? Yep, using the bow and arrow. It's pretty easy. This is a pretty easy fight. So what you want to do first, shoot 
is you want to get two arrows off. There you go, that kills one of the hands. That kills the other hand. There we go. No. No, he's going to shoot. Oh my god, the slowdown there is ridiculous. There. And there we go. Now you want to get a bomb. Throw it in his mouth. And boom. Just repeat this two more times and you're done. As I say, it's a pretty fucking easy boss fight. There we go, they're both down. There we go, that's one eye down. Yeah, he's using the... Uh... But it's pretty telegraphed and pretty easy to avoid. Nope. As you can see, I'm running low on arrows at this point. Um, but what's kind of cool here is that he drops arrows for you, which I think I you can you'll see in this fight pretty soon. That one's down. Where's the other one? Come. Ah, yeah, it's you need to be quicker in this final stage. See, snorts it out of his nose. Gives you 10. Yeah, I had a bit of an issue. There we go. Ah, it's down. Just have to be quick with this final phase. Yeah, he doesn't change up the strategy at all, just avoid that. Yeah, he's going to give me another arrow. Yeah, the hands have come back, but the eye is still out, so now... And boom, we're done. Probably the easiest boss in the whole game. Um, but it is pretty fun. The path can now be opened, O oh, Chosen One. What will now come to pass is tied to your fate, to the path that you have chosen. Go forth with caution. Go forward with caution, whatever. I do love the, uh, I do love this kind of um, music that plays every time you win. The fact that it like, jumps up and down like a little kid. It's so awesome. We've beaten him. And we're done. I don't know the name of this prick, but he doesn't deserve a name because he's so piss easy. Now remember, <laughs> get your heart container first. Up to six hearts now. And this warps you up to the top of the tower. So let's get going. And that's the Tower of the Gods pretty much done. Just got one last thing to do and we'll be fully finished. So for this bit, it's pretty simple and straightforward. It's pretty obvious what you need to do. Grappling hook, ring the bell, and you're done. I don't think you even need to swing. I think it just automatically starts, yeah, you automatically start swinging and it goes into a cutscene. I guess this is a bit of a reference to uh, Christian mythology. Uh, the Tower of Babel kind of thing, ringing the uh, bell at the top of the tower. You know, having gone through, you know, um, great uh, trouble and strife to get where you need to get to the top. Don't quote me on that, I know nothing about Christian mythology. You have done well, Tom Till. It would seem the gods have acknowledged you to be a true hero. But this does not mean your trials have ended here. Of course not. Once you take your first step into the world beyond the ring of the light, you see shimmering in the waves before you. Your true trial will begin. Are you ready, Tom Till? Let's do this shit. <laughs> but yeah, uh, of course it's not near the end of the game. Of course my trial is not over. It's only about half, it's not even halfway through the game yet. 
So now we're going below the sea. And I love this here, that he's trying to desperately hold his breath. He's like, no, fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm dead. Huh? I can breathe underwater? This is weird. <laughs> That's just why I love this version of Link, though. It's so expressive. Like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> to be fair, I would be confused as well. And obviously there, the familiar queue comes in. Oh look, it's Hyrule Castle. Uh, so yeah, this is the uh, next section of the game. The next section of the game is heading to Hyrule Castle to get the Master Sword, which we won't be doing until next part. <laughs> but is the introduction to Hyrule, which is uh, sort of suspended in time, frozen in time. Um, at the end of the, you know, uh, underneath the sea. It's kind of a cool look. You are probably wondering where you are, aren't you? I've already explained. <laughs> Unfortunately, there is not enough time for me to explain it to you now. Once you are able to strike down Ganon with the item you obtain in this castle, which I've already spoiled, all will be made clear to you. Trust in my words, see what awaits you in the castle. So yeah, that's it for this part of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Join me next time for the next part when we'll be heading through Hyrule Castle and we will be f finally getting the ultimate weapon of the game, the Master Sword. So join me next time for the next part of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. See you next time.